mitochondria, and dementia. Glucose is your body's main source of energy. Just as the energy from gasoline needs to be processed before your car can use it, the energy you get from glucose also needs to be processed. This happens in energy factories inside your cells. Every cell in your body has hundreds of energy factories called mitochondria. Mitochondria use oxygen and digested food to produce ATP, an energy source your body can use. Every part of your body needs energy, but your brain most of all. Your brain is only 2% of your weight, but it uses 20% of your energy. This makes your brain very sensitive to any change in mitochondrial health. Keep your mitochondria healthy and your brain functions well, but expose your mitochondria to toxins, a sedentary lifestyle, poor sleep and nutrition and stress, and your mitochondria will begin to wear out. One result of worn out mitochondria is oxidation, the same thing that happens when a piece of metal rusts. Oxygen that would be used to make energy by healthy mitochondria begins dropping unpaired electrons instead into the cell. These electrons, called free radicals, rob electrons from other atoms and molecules in a chain reaction, generating an explosion of inflammation. Because your brain needs so much energy, it suffers the most when oxidation starts happening in neurons. If your thinking feels foggy or often fatigued, it might be because of oxidation started by worn out mitochondria. You can change this. First, if your doctor approves, add interval training to your exercise plan. This training intersperses periods of comfortable exercise with periods of strenuous activity. You can do this while walking, biking, jogging, rowing, dancing, whatever you normally do for exercise. Interval training is probably the best way to improve your mitochondria. Anti-inflammatory foods, berries, high omega-3 foods, and many vegetables can help quench inflammation. Turmeric eaten with black pepper will help, as will dark chocolate, 70% cocoa or higher, and coffee. Intermittent fasting is another way to energize mitochondria. Stress damages mitochondria, so practice deep breathing, meditation, joyful social connections, and empathy. And be on the guard against toxins. Air pollution interferes with your oxygen supply needed for ATP production, but guard against heavy metals, pesticides, and herbicides as well. Certain medications also harm mitochondria, so ask your doctor if you might be over-medicating. Remember, the brain has powerful recovery and rehabilitative abilities. Through an active and stimulating life filled with healthy choices, you can improve the quantity and quality of your mitochondria and bring new energy to your life.